This is the biggest contradiction that I've ever noticed. And I saw a video the other day um, by some cat in New York, a crip out in New York, saying basically he didn't respect Sureños because when we get to the pen, we link up with Nazis. And honestly, this has been something that always did kind of uh, make me scratch my head. It's been happening for so long before my time. It's going to be after my time. But it's so weird when you think about it. Why would you want to go to the pen, especially if you're from a city where you don't even really see, uh, you know, gabachos or, or, you know, the, the woods or anything like that. Like, you know, you see a lot of them out here in the desert for sure. But, you know, a lot of you guys come from cities, you know, South Central, Watts, Compton, wherever, you know, where there's not that strong of any type of uh, presence of that, like, you know, that nature, the wood nature, you know, or the Aryan nature or whatever. And uh, we get to the pen and it's like we're cool with them over the blacks. And to me, that don't it never made any sense to me. I, I, uh, I think in a way it's like. What, what we're a part of is actually pretty, you know, racist. Then if that's the case, right, if, if you look at it, because if anything, our gravitational pull should be more closer to uh, ethnic, you know, other culture, you know what I'm saying? Um, oppressed. It shouldn't be leaning towards um, people who call us the worst kind of names you could dream of. These guys, I can't even say the names that they call us what they call brown people. And we're all brown pride and, 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 you know, up north or down south, it's all about the raza, right? And united this and familias and all this other stuff. I, I can't speak for them up there and say that they link with the whites the way it happens down south, because I'm not gonna say that. But I will say, I have to point this out. After watching that video, it was a good idea. Like it was a good topic for me to cover because we, I remember being in the county active and the whites one time tried, they weren't there for us. They, uh, they bitched out bad. I was the rep. I didn't ask them for help. I didn't go to the, I didn't go to their rep and say, Hey, can you help me? Boom, boom, boom. We handled the situation, whatever popped off, popped off right there in the dorm in uh, West Valley in eight unit, a pod. Um, after that, we had the new knowledge. We're not messing with the whites because they didn't have our back. This little crew of uh, the wood pile right here in West Valley, which is fine. I didn't even want their help. I'm, I don't need, I don't need y'all to get in so we can jump and, and 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 take over against the blacks you know what i'm saying like we was doing our own thing you know what i'm saying a couple months goes by oh shoot my battery's dying couple months goes by wood rep comes and gets at me and he's like hey look bro um the, the blacks are tripping on us yada 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 man hey they, they're kind of deep bro you think you're can you guys got us or what and i'm like Honestly, my boy, nah, we don't. Long story short, you know, my battery's dying and shit. Um, the the bathrooms are, there's a bathroom on the bottom, bathroom on the top, shower on the bottom, shower on the top. They're both on the sides. The, the staircase is up the middle. Anyone who's been to West Valley County Jail in the dorms, you guys know. Um, blacks went up there and packed them out in the bathroom. The whites were all huddled up, scared, trying to think of a plan. They got packed out. Um, I had a lot of white friends uh, in, inside of jail, you know what I'm saying, that were cool, you know, business-wise and whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I just think it's, I just, I got to point it out, man, like, what is the logic behind working with people that don't like you? They don't like your culture, they don't like your, your history, they don't, they see you as a skid mark, you know, on earth, on the face of earth. Yeah, but we go to the pen and it's all buddy buddy. Oh, we can relate. And then you had like the low riders, the the Nazi low riders who have like that Chicano swag, that Cholo swag. You know, you got you got a lot of woods who talk like homies. Um it's just another step, another layer in this huge contradiction of what politicking even is. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a whole different world in there that it is out here. 
because it's all foolishness, but it works, okay? So it systematically has its success rate. I'm not sure how good it has been lately. I know it's declining. I know a lot of numbers are falling off. I know all kinds of stuff is happening in there that ain't right. And you know, and just like playing a game of chess, these guys are gonna be forced, or if they want, make the choice to go ahead and move pawns here, queens here, this here, horse there, knight, rook, whatever clean things up and and slow down the process of losing so many soldiers or slow down the process of people being afraid or daunted or or, or whatever to even go um but the contradiction lies there within itself um i i don't i'm happy that i can do me i'm happy that i can actually focus on whatever it is whatever choice it is i want to make in life as a man no one can tell me you can't talk to this guy you can't talk to that guy that was the worst bro being in the pan being in the pan being in the county the worst thing that that happens is when another man is telling you what you can do who you can talk to the kind of business you can do and it's all fun to be like militant but what it does is it ingrains things into you into your mind into your heart and before you know it you're low-key racist or high-key racist like before you know it, you're saying nasty things about uh this race or that race or this way you know what i'm saying like and it's because of the way you're 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 becoming militant you're disciplining yourself to be okay with the fact that you you have to see everyone has to see their race as the supreme one that means genetically that means physically spiritually culturally any other way that you could possibly think one has to believe that his race and culture is that that's why i call it brown pride black pride white pride whatever how could you go and click up or why do we go and click up with something that isn't pride just prideful in itself they're not just prideful in themselves but they're hateful based off of skin color to everyone else now, I'm not saying that they go around the streets and they do what, you know, uh, I'm not even accusing them of like really hurting anybody because on truth be told, they really don't. They're not really hurting anybody because if that's the case, you got a problem with someone with brown skin. Y'all ain't even going to make it out here in Southern Cali or black skin for that matter, to be honest with you. So I think maybe like. I don't know. I feel like they rearrange, they're rearranging their whole political scheme. And I've even heard uh, a dude with Swazi's tatted, swastikas tatted all over him say, oh, he had him on his face, I think. And he was on TikTok. And, you know, people are going to jam you up on social media. So they're jamming him up like, hey, bro, like, what's up with that? That's, I can't believe you, you know, calling them names. And, and he's like, it's not even like that. Like, it's not, it doesn't mean what you guys think it means. So it's like, I don't know what they think it stands for, but I know like the, back in the 80s and the 90s, they really were about that uh, that racial stuff and business money. Money talks, bullshit walks, baby. So that's what obviously ended up leading people to agreements, peace treaties and a friendship being in the shoe with each other relating. And it's a beautiful thing to break barriers. It, it really is. It's a beautiful thing to turn an enemy into a friend. I've already done it plenty of times. It's amazing. I advise you. My best advice to you guys, if you have an enemy, you ain't got nothing to lose, reach out to him. Reach out to him. See if you can turn him into a friend. Because <clears throat> if you can, because odds are he ain't going to do nothing to you. You ain't going to do nothing to him. Because if you can... It's gonna make you feel good, man. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna take a little thing off your shoulder that you didn't even know you had on your shoulder. Try it. You know what I'm saying? However, although that's all cool and fine and dandy, I still feel like us as a people in prison, if anything, should be allied with the blacks. That's just my opinion. That's my two cents. I hope you guys like this video. Smash that thumbs up. That subscribe. And don't think with a racist mind. I know a lot of you uh, viewers, man. You guys be like kind of racist sometimes man try to think with like make sense of it you know what i'm saying it's one one organization that literally calls us names bad names tells us to go back to mexico and all this other crazy stuff <clears throat> and then you got one that we find ourselves talking crap about they don't yeah they do the whole thing with the palatero man like you're, you're you're taking a few isolated incidents by young kids or dummies but as a whole they don't attack like that, bro. They're not. They're not about that whole 
let's go and just point them out because they're brown skin. They have black skin. Why would they do that? They're, they have black skin. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not saying they don't do it ever. When you grow up in any type of hood environment or when you grow up or do go to the pen or the county, of course, you got it to some some degree. You're just not going to like that person or their homies or anything. And you're going to say things that, that, you know what I'm saying, that are like that. 